Alright guys, Synaptic Gaming here. Now, I'm sure you guys are all waiting for some Crisis gameplay. So, I'm going to be the first guy to bring that to you. Now, I just got my new i5, what is this, the uh, 3570K installed. It's an LJ1155 socket. Really, really good. So far it's running everything really, really nice. And put some 16 gigs of Vengeance RAM in there, some Corsair 6500 megahertz RAM. Good stuff. I know it's not the best, but it can run Crisis 3, so I think it's pretty damn good. Um, Alright, so now I want to get you guys some action. So I'm sure you guys want to see some really cool gameplay. Now I'm going to go on... Ooh, now that looks fun. Okay, I'm going to go Super Soldier. Yeah, I think I should go Super Soldier. No crosshair, no aim assistance, don't accept, expect any help. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds good, let's do it. Tutorial? Might as well. I'll do the tutorial. Now, let's have some fun. So, I should hook up my webcam. Make it a lot more fun for you guys, but maybe for the next episode I'll do that. So, this is just part one. Now, I'm just going to do the tutorial put this in like a 15 minute video, stick it on YouTube, and then I'll do part two, and that'll be a lot of fun. So, this game's like 68 bucks in Origins, it's not that bad. Actually, it's quite a bit of money, I can't believe it's that much, but what can you expect? I mean, every single game is that much, so I'm not going to argue. Either way, let's have some fun, I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, let's do this. Welcome to the Nanosuit Training Simulation Environment. Training is divided into several subsections. Each subsection can be accessed individually. Here you will learn navigational control of your nanosuit. We call the nanosuit Battle Armor Perfected, but it's much more than that. I agree too. Aw, oh, that's some Halo crap pretty much. The navigation panel gives you real-time tactical feedback on this. your surroundings. Now make your here. way through the assault course. Yeah, assault course. Artificial muscles assist interaction with your environment. Artificial muscles. I wish I could see it really. You can jump higher. You can climb further. Oh, there you go. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Okay. So I can slide. You can run faster. Let's do this. I'm gonna fall off and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Go, go, go. With control slide. Beast. This game's awesome. Man, they're gonna start playing it already. Here you will learn how to handle weapons with your nano suit. I think I should mess with the graphics a little bit. Use your weapon sights. High definition, very focal eye lenses give you unmatched accuracy. Even with fast twitch recoil compensation, oh, wow. rapid fire is inaccurate. Use semi auto to improve kill ratios. Weapon customization allows for on the fly attachment swap out. To adjust to changing battlefield conditions. New attachments are automatically added to your inventory and are always available. Mount the scope to engage distant targets. Scope. What? Oh my god, it's beautiful. Yeah, I'm not going to sleep tonight, guys. Expect everything to be done by tomorrow. Accelerated I reflexes promise. make switching to your secondary faster than a reload. I promise you. YouTube is my life. Your visor will alert you to ammunition restock locations.
Telemetry integration allows active target aiming assistance. That's super helpful. The nanosuit offers only partial protection from withheld grenades. Throw them within four seconds. Four seconds. This tutorial is complete. Continued free practice is supported by this module. the fundamentals of nanosuit combat operations. All nanosuit functions require energy. Some functions drain energy faster than others. Energy is recovered automatically from multiple sources within the environment. Stand by for nanosuit function training. Armor mode deflects incoming fire. refracts light around the nanosuit, making it practically invisible. The faster the movement, the more energy is required. Combine nanosuit modes dynamically to maintain advantage over your enemies. The nanosuit monitors cortisol stress hormones in nearby enemies to calculate observability. The threat level is communicated to you via your HUD stealth meter. This is so Metal Gear Solid VR training. Cloak mode provides silent kill opportunities. Let's get this guy. Bam! Oh, there goes your neck, buddy. You gotta get me one of those. Here we will cover advanced elements of nanosuit combat operations. Sounds good to me. The tactical visor analyzes the battlefield topography, marking targets and points of interest. Computer system exploitation or hacking is another function of the tactical visor. Whoa, that's so cool. Failed system explosions will temporarily disable your nano systems. That's so cool. Nanovision is a function of the tactical visor which provides full spectrum acuity. This gives enemies no place to hide, Sorry, guys. even in pitch black environments. I'm just super amped right now. That's so Nanovision cool. enabled. Nanovision is a highly advanced feature and consumes energy while active. The nanosuit strength augmentation allows rapid destruction of soft cover and power lifting of oversized objects. Wow. Oh, just... okay. I guess I get rid of this. They got rid of like, the strength function in this game. Kick oversized objects to clear paths and kill enemies. Sorry, buddy. Need a garbage can. Or, or like a dumpster, I should say. 
Oh, dumpster. Welcome to the tutorial sandbox. Here you can test out your nano suit abilities in complete safety. Combine nano suit modes dynamically to maintain combat advantage over your enemies. We call the nano suit Battle Armor Perfected. With this tutorial, we aim to perfect the soldier. Good luck out there. I tend to agree. Alright guys, that was the training simulation. I hope you had fun watching. I don't know. I think the action's gonna start right now. Twenty-three years ago, the alien Seth invaded our world. We stopped them. I stopped them. But the Cell Corporation seized the opportunity, stepping into the power vacuum, quickly growing in size and influence to the brink of world domination. Cell took us all by surprise. Even me. They call me Prophet. And I'm the only one who knows what's coming. Cell are not the real threat to our world. The most powerful alien, the Alpha Seth, still lives. He showed me a glimpse of the future. what drives me, what I believe. That being a good soldier comes down to one thing, to one single question. What are you prepared to sacrifice? Remember me. When they came to me with the nano suit, I sacrificed Lawrence Barnes, the man I was, to become prophet. When my own flesh and blood held me back, I sacrificed that too. Replaced it like a spare part. Victory costs. Every time you pay a little more. I saw a glimpse of what's coming. And there was nothing left of me to stop it. When the greatest combat machine fails, what do we do then? What do I? Nothing but stay frosty. That son of a bitch you got is hella dangerous, over. Roger that, Hunter. 
Cruiser 3, we got it covered. Nothing getting on this boat tonight, over. Skinned us all. You're the last one. It's all about that suit now. All right. So I think I'm gonna end it here. Oh, yeah. Here, take my back up. Dane. Three to come out. Perfect. Alright guys, so if you guys like that part, I'm probably going to mess around with the settings a little bit just to make it look a little better. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the intro. I guess that would be the intro. A tutorial plus a little bit of the intro. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to have part two, part three, etc. all up tomorrow. So you guys can all see the action. Now, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you like this video. I plan to have Bioshock 3 up next week as well after I finish this game. And I'll probably get some Crisis 3 action in today, some multiplayer. That'll be a lot of fun. Now, um, yeah, if you guys want to see some hardcore FPS fun, just continue watching my videos. And if you like it, definitely subscribe next time.